for the seven people in this country who didn't watch the debate, let me play the moment uh, that resonated early on with you for them at home. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. to buy in. If she qualifies for Medicaid, Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? You said to Joe Biden several different times, did you forget what you just said? And the crowd went, oh. And then he said to Bernie, what did he say I said? And Bernie said, he said that you forgot what you said. And then people on the stage came at you and was basically giving you the message, you went too low on that. Do you regret it? Uh, no, because we had a disagreement about health care. Um, when we were on the debate stage in Detroit, Senator Harris, as I pointed out tonight, Senator Harris uh, said of Vice President Biden's health care plan that it left 10 million people uncovered. At that time, on the debate stage in Detroit, the vice president said, no, it didn't. Uh, the media fact checkers went and they looked at it and they said, actually, it does leave millions of people uncovered. Uh, so tonight, I pointed that out. And when he was explaining his health care plan, one of the things that he said, if folks will look at the transcript, is that if you lose your job, that you would automatically get to buy in to his plan. That's important language because when he says that you have to buy in, what he means is you have to opt in. The approach to health care that I believe in is that you would automatically uh, be enrolled. You would have right. to opt out, not opt in. His opt-in approach means that millions of people, 10 million people, would be left uncovered. So then he I said, your, I, I didn't say point, the words Secretary, buy in. Without getting too in the weeds, I don't think that that's the way he articulated it, but we can look at the transcript anyway, anytime you want. Uh, I think that he was saying it was need-based. So I don't know that you had him on the substance, but I'm asking you about the style of it. You can disagree uh, about health care a lot of different ways. You made a crack about him not having a good memory about it. No, what I said was that he had just said uh, the words buy in, and then he denied saying the words buy in. So I said, look, did you forget that two minutes ago you just said that you would have to buy in? Why do you think the I crowd I think that went, that's perfectly Ooh. legitimate. Why look, do you think they said that? Look, uh, th this was a disagreement about health care policy. I respect the vice president. Uh, I think that he's, you know, obviously an accomplished and uh, uh, fine candidate and a fine man. Uh, I was pointing out a disagreement. I will say, though, Chris, um, that I'm also there to debate. This is a debate. And when we're talking about health care policy, we're talking about a policy that impacts I every you. single I person hear you, in this country. This, this show's all about and, robust and debate. It's just also one, about one other decency, thing. and that seemed like a cheap yeah. shot. That's why I'm asking you. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, the stage this was didn't about what happened in that moment. The and stage the didn't agree with you. Pete Buttigieg uh, came the, at you. Amy Klobuchar came at you about it, saying this is a house divided. We got to be better than this. Andrew uh, Yang said that, it. Not at all. Uh, in fact, um, I actually felt like this debate went very well, and that you know my campaign has been resonating with this young, diverse coalition of people across the country. I'll also say that. Um, Americans want someone, Democrats want someone who can go up against Donald Trump on a debate stage in October of 2020. And they've seen in three different debates now uh, that I'm respectful, that I have different disagreements on the policy, but that I will defeat Donald Trump if I go on that debate stage against him in October of 2020. You think you can trade shots with Donald Trump? The way you did tonight with Joe Biden. I absolutely Joe know Biden that didn't I didn't come do that. back at you. Donald Trump is a cheap shot master. He will have five nicknames for you. You sure you want to get into that mud? Oh, I, I'm more than willing to go toe to toe against Donald Trump and come out on top. Don't you guys have to be better than that? Isn't that what your party is demanding? That we've had enough? We got one vulgarian in chief? Well, look, I, I wasn't vulgar tonight. I, I was focused on health care policy and the difference between Vice President Biden's plan that would leave 10 million people uncovered and my approach that would cover everybody. We had a disagreement about whether he had said the words buy in. It was not intended as a personal, uh, you know, attack or affront. But there is a disagreement and we are there to debate. And I think that people want to know what the differences are when it comes to such an important policy like health care that impacts families across this nation. I agree. I just think how you disagree matters. Let me ask you, because of how it resonated, do you think the VP is too old for the job? No, I've never said that.
Uh, you know, I believe that he's a fantastic candidate, but I have my disagreements with Vice President Biden. Uh, we've disagreed on health care. We've disagreed on immigration. Uh, and I pointed that out last time about immigration in Detroit. I pointed out disagreements about health care tonight. Uh, we're there to debate. This is a debate. This is what I said in this camp in the on the stage tonight. I'm not bashful about debating people. You know, that's what we're here for. We're not running for student council president. We're running for president. And we're going to have to run against Donald Trump, who's a very tough debater. So I'm going to be prepared to go in in October 2020 and to defeat Donald Trump in that debate. Our secretary, I appreciate you explaining the moment tonight and giving us your views on the debate. You're always welcome on the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you.